Okay, today's math assignment is reviewing and practicing fact families. Fact families are when you use the same three numbers, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three to solve multiplication and division problems using the same three numbers. For our example, we're going to use these three numbers, 6, 9, and 54. Okay, there's my three numbers in my fact family. They're all part of the family, the three numbers. When I multiply, which I'm doing first, the biggest number is going to go towards the end. It's going to be the end number, because when you put those numbers together, they make a bigger number. What's the biggest number? It's 54. So even before I start, I know my big number is going to go over there. Now what's kind of fun about these is that I have two numbers left. So one of the numbers is going to go there, and one of the numbers is going to go there. And it doesn't really matter if I put 9 and 6 there, that's 54. Okay, and it is. It's not just that those numbers are there. It actually is that. So if I put nine first in the, in the number one here, the next row, all I do is put nine second, and then I switch six to first. Those are the same numbers. Those are called reciprocal facts because they're gonna make the same problem. Six times nine is the same as nine times six. 54 is my answer. Remember, the big number when I multiply goes at the back. Okay, now let's divide. Okay, dividing is the opposite. We're breaking big groups into smaller equal groups. So now my big number goes in the front. So now every time I have a fact family, my biggest number goes to the front. And I still have to deal with my other two numbers. So now there's 54. Well, let's pick 6 or 9. If I divide 54 by 6, I get 9, and that's the right answer. So if I already did 6, if I already divided 54 by 6, now I use the 9. And 54 divided by 9 is 6, and that's the only number I have left over. And that's my fact found all three numbers. Remember, multiplication, the big number comes at the end. Division, it comes at the beginning. And also notice, you can notice a pattern here. See how those numbers kind of work together? Opposite? Okay, so you're going to look at this movie. You're going to remember what fact families are. And then you're going to do these 10 problems. So use these numbers as your fact families. I'm also going to send a screenshot of this so you don't have to slow this movie down and do it. But there's your fact family. Notice in number 10, notice in number 10, I'm letting you decide what three numbers to use. I don't care what numbers you use as long as they make a real fact family. Okay, good luck on this. Looking forward to seeing your 10 fact family problems. You can just number your paper and show me your fact families. Okay? All right. I look forward to seeing your work. Bye-bye.